We recently switched to PayPal for credit card processing, and I wanted to point out one area that people get stuck on frequently. So when you're checking out and you've completed all of your billing details, and by the way, we do like to know how you found out about us. So if you found us on Google or saw one of our YouTube videos, we'd love to know about that. Um, or if you saw us at a trade show. Um, of course, if a friend told you about it, we'd like to thank our existing customers for telling others too. So um, tell us who we should send a thank you card to. And this box here, if you are shipping to a different address, make sure this is checked so you can complete those details. But if you're shipping to the same address, you can leave that unticked and you won't have all that extra stuff to fill out. But as you get down here to your order and you see your shipping amount calculated and all the details, you have two options. One is to send and request a call back. Make sure you, you know, only select this if you're easy to reach, of course, and uh, leave us a good phone number. But if you're using PayPal, let me show you where people will get stuck. I'm going to proceed to PayPal. And PayPal will pull some of the details, such as the email address that you entered. If you have a PayPal account and you want to pay with PayPal, and it's a different email address, go ahead and change this and add your PayPal password. But if you do not have a PayPal account, notice right here you have another option. So you would click on this, and this is where people get confused. They say, I don't have a PayPal account. Well, you can click right here and choose to pay with a credit card without having a PayPal account. So I can transfer from my bank. I can use a debit or a credit card right here. And then checking out is just like any other credit card processing on a website. Fill out your details and then click this button here to continue. I hope that helps. Thank you for shopping at allo1.com. <laughs>